Greetings and welcome back everyone to Thea the Awakening and to a potentially very, very, very dangerous decision. We have a triple difficulty area. Garun is slightly hurt, I think. He may have healed in the travel, but I believe he's still a little bit wounded. It's a middle of the road. It's moderate difficulty, basically. It, it goes on a scale from one skill to five. No retreat attack the dwarves, or yeah, tactical retreat dwarves are dangerous. I just don't think... I worry that we're going to lose someone here. But in the interest of sciencing and showing you how that affects the game... No retreat. Attack the dwarves. There are three dwarven bandits. I don't know what they're going to be like. We're not going to want to resolve this. Okay, Shelab is on that side. That's good. No idea what level the dwarven bandits are. We're about to find out. Level 8. Ye gads. We should run away. We are going to die. Nothing I can do is going to help anyone here. I need you to take the first move. But I also need that shield. 33! I'd need to use two people to shield you to even survive the first round of combat. That's the thing. Oh, you gads. What have I done? What have I done? And Grun is still wounded. I wonder if we can flee. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this will this will work. Is there anything specific about this? Basic rule, attack type, challenge, the challenge skills. Nope. Mm, maybe we could just throw ourselves upon their mercy, but we... Ah... Uh, well, like I said, maybe we kind of need to find out about this. Um... Alright. Well. Hmm. If we put down all of our damage, it's still not going to quite get through. But I'm going to go ahead and shield you as much as I can. Okay, you got a little bit less. Right, Fiery, you're being deployed. And that's that. Okay, you're confused, which is good. Let's deploy... Now, the problem is, is you're going to hit the Fiery straight away. So I need to give Fiery this in order to survive that attack. Alternatively, you could attack the other direction, which would you know be equally terrible. Let's pop you down, pop you down. This is, this is going to go badly. We may be about to lose our entire, entire group. And I could run away. Absolutely could run away. <laughs> We've been slain. Uh, surrender, forfeit this challenge. <laughs> now, we may have just lost a lot of people, though... Uh, hopefully that wouldn't be the end of it. Do you really want to forfeit this challenge? The challenge will end, but when retreating from a fight, your people may receive some additional damage. Not sure they could survive it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, 12, 16, 9, 10, 11, 7, and 8... You failed to fight off the dwarves and must retreat fast. Run! Is anyone dead? Probably almost everyone is close to death. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, they've, they've all got heavily wounded. They may all die. Right, well, the simple thing here. Move down here. Immediately set up camp. And hopefully survive. You can gather some coal. It's the only thing I can have you do. And I may as well. It'll take a long time to do it, too. Three turns. Well, we'll see if they survive. No. Wounds don't always have a chance to heal, and so death can claim its prize. You have lost Garoon, and so more souls join the beyond. Goodbye, Garoon. We shall all miss you terribly. Terribly, I tell you. Terribly. Weeping right now. All of us. Every single one. They're all... They're not out of the woods yet, either. Maybe I'm about to lose it. Oh, really? This is not a good time. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Surrender! <laughs> Flee! <laughs> Three, two, one, two. That. Okay, we actually need to break this camp and move. And hope. We camp here. Um, actually. Well, you know what? It probably would be good to get some wood. And then just dump everyone else working on this. But right now, we're just trying to survive. Okay, we've got an encounter in Dapperton. A pigeon flies to your village with a note attached to it. It reads, Dear residents of the lovely settlement, If you will, please visit my humble abode, placed not so far from your lovely home. It is very nice. I am a blacksmith of dwarven tradition. Bloody dwarves! And I have an offering for you, kind people. Yes, there is a small map drawn in strange purple glowing ink. All right, it may be interesting and worth checking out. I don't know, I don't trust the dwarves at the moment. Bloody dwarves. All right, well, I can move you a little bit further down now. Ah, oh, poor Garoon. We mourn your loss. Taken from us too soon. Far too soon. Uh, we could just, like, end up gathering enough food to to be all right here for a while. Certainly, it would make sense to wait until everyone was fully healed, which they're a ways off from. But this does allow me to illustrate the, one of the, the elements of the game. There's, the consequences are quite quite real. Garoon died, and he died after the fight. And in my experience, that's always the case. I've not noticed them die in a fight, in at least in the tutorial when I played it previously. Um, and so far through this campaign, I'm not sure if they can. I think they just end up with such terrible wounds. It's possible, because as you saw there, we got attacked after already being low on health. If they'd done enough damage, it probably would have killed us. So... In that sense, it, it might be possible. I've just not seen it happen yet. But once you're out of the fight, you can still die from it, even if you're resting and, and potentially recuperating. Having a medic in your party will reduce this, but otherwise, there's not much you can do. Uh, we can probably auto-resolve that one. We got three spiders off. There we go. They're not a particularly uh, difficult task, all things told. Uh... Did I not set this up to pro- Oh, I didn't. I'm gonna do it. I want this on forever. Thank you. There you go. And we will then have a roasted fish as well. Also a forever job. Swap them around. There we go. Now, inventory, mana supplies, don't eat these, please. You can eat the, the stuff that we've got ridiculous amounts of. That's fine. But the rest, that's special. Wow, Dapperton's getting a lot of encounters. You hear rumors of a band of robbers setting up camp in the area. Some of your food stocks and supplies have gone missing over the weeks. And there are talks of the bandits getting more and more violent. Try to attack down these bandits. Well, just leave them be. Perhaps they will not return. No, I mean, we've got pretty good uh, hunting skills. Your scouts set out to track the bandits, but it seems they've hi they're have they hiding their safe house well. Luckily, you have some skilled scouts to help you out. Send out hunting parties to scout the area. There we go. Okay, begin contact. Um, okay, almost everyone can fight. Calissa can't, but she's got decent uh, protection there. Um, counter-offensive, just got a random offense hand. Uh, we'll use this counter-offensive. There we go. And then we'll play... Well, it doesn't really matter too much, honestly, because our enemy is going to be confused. We are going to have killed them with this. The only thing is we won't kill them there, unfortunately. And it doesn't matter. We're not going to play Kalissa. Kalissa, you can guard the the actual town. And in this phase, we'll just do loads of damage. There we go. You discover tracks leading into an old mine shaft, long exploited and un uh, unused. Thus, a perfect site for a hideout. Your scouts mark this place on the map. Good. Perhaps the fighters can go check this place out. Indeed. Maybe one day, when the fighters 
aren't almost dead. One day far in the future. Okay, now it's daytime. A little bit less dangerous for us, more or less. Kind of, perhaps. Uh, I'm going to give it another day, though. Oh. We're probably going to be able to just auto-resolve this. Oh, we got a little bit of a wound. It's not great, but... We've got an extra shield as well, which is quite nice. Uh, we're going to play this one, though. Let's keep him play. Play his turn. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we're not... Uh, I could remove counter tactic there, but the shield ally is probably more useful to me. Shield up, you're up first then. And then Metasapia as well. <laughs> you're so dead. So utterly, utterly dead. Well, may as well get rid of you. Scoundrel. And, I mean, I could just take one of the enemies out, but I'm just going to give Fire some extra armor. Since everything now has to go through Fiery, it's not going to take long for us to wipe everything out here. There we go. Fiery may end up with a little bit of a wound there. Yeah, just one. But we got some uh, bird meat. It's not amazing. It's time for the Night of the Goat. A feast in honor and reverence of the ancestry and forefathers, the so-called Ziodi. Great, begin the celebrations. Ooh, that's a lot of text. You set a table with food and drink, set bonfires in a circle and begin festivities. But this night, the Ziodi actually appear before you. One, an elder, bearded man, speaks with heavy, coarse voice. You have done us proud, grandchildren. Now we shall cleanse you of any curse you carry. And if your souls are ever burdened by the filth of dark magic, come to a city we once called home. Seek us out, and if you prove yourselves worthy, you may be cleansed once more. The Zodi all nod in agreement, then disappear. We've removed the curse from Blank Door and Isdar, and Plump Helmet Punk is now got more folklore. Folklore represents both wisdom, knowledge, and uh, even basic folk rituals, using intellect and hex challenges. Wonderful, if we are ever cursed, we shall seek out this city. Oh, that was very useful for us. Fantastic, I say. Fantastic! And they're actually quite close as well. Okay. Well, we've got a level as well. Meta plus one will, plus one intelligence for fiery. She loves to become even better with animal kinship. Gravelord plus two will, and damage is a plus one health. And Calissa is better at talking. Will is for blank door. Dion's stronger. Isdar is more intelligent. And Plump Helmet Punk is much better at crafting. Okay, well that's cool. Well, there's bandits down there, there's the mithril mine. I don't think I really want to go back there. Not anytime soon, anyway. Got 16 days worth more of uh, materials. I'm going to tell you to stop grabbing these. What's our inventory like? Uh, kind of getting there. Okay, well I'm going to have you break camp. I'm going to start having you move down towards these areas down hither. We'll hit those bandits on the way back. But I'd like to get back to Dapperton, pick up some stuff, hit some of these areas around Dapperton. Okay, we've got a small hive, small spider's nest. Yeah, let's go take that out. And that's Hunter as well. Don't want anyone to die. Okay, uh, well, given this, let's just get rid of counter tactic, if we can. There we are. Now, what are you going to play? Nothing particularly strong. I will play... Um, meta. You're not particularly going to do that much damage. But I am going to first action you. And then I'm simply going to end the turn. Because I don't want Fiery or Damage Chester taking damage that they don't need. And Meta can heal herself, so. Oh, yeah. 
There we go. That was nice and easy. Got some spider silk. Good. You guys can move on straight to the small hive. And why risk our fighters again? Players turn this time. Right, shoe lab. That's fantastic. Now, unfortunately, it's very unlikely I'm going to be able to do anything like first action or anything like that, but uh, I'll get you to support the ally uh, on the next turn, that is. You're going to be a little bit more of a pain to get rid of, but it shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. And let's go. There we go. That was unfortunate. There we are. Some nice uh, bits of amber there. Okay. Now, let me uh, go into the options again. Uh, card animation time. Slow right down, please. And moving on. Oh, no, we're not moving on. We are sleeping. We can also resolve this one, I think. There we go. Ooh, fear is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. The kids always like the wilds better than home. They'll grow up to be a great hunter. Ooh, there's three options not available, but I, I like the idea of getting a hunter. Yes, please. Cadvan. Oh, that sounds like a really good name. Actually, that's a really good name. I like it. It's almost a Welsh name. Uh, Cadvan. I haven't prepared a list of names. That was a bit derpy of me. Let's find Cadvan. There you are, Cadvan. Right, very well. Uh, can I equip Cadvan? I am just going to pick a name that I am familiar with. It shall be... Zimoth. There we go, Zimoth. We are going to need to get you some gear. You can carry not an awful lot. Let's see. That's actually really light for what it is. Yeah, you can grab that. And... You could take this. No, you couldn't. It's just a little bit shy. But well, this is going to be your equipment then. Ten armor, six shielding, six damage. It's not bad. It's blunt damage as well. But there we are. Right, as for production, you can harvest, which is good. Um, plump is not quite enough. You've got five there, four there. So, Zimalf, if you go and help out there, then we're great. Right, let's go and deal with these bandits, shall we? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, there's a dark tunnel leading into the decrepit mines. Go into the tunnel! You go down the tunnel and come into the underground chamber where clearly the bandits held their hideout. You see the bodies of the robbers spread out on the floor, their skin bloated and greenish. You see what looks like a severely overgrown death cap lying in the middle of the room and spreading strange green spores in the air. Going in any further will mean fighting with whatever killed these bandits. Well, they're bound to have some loot in there. Go in and face the deadly spores! I don't know. We've already lost one person. Um. <laughs> hmm. No! We're not going to run away from a mushroom! You carefully enter the chamber and you feel your throat's getting dry and itchy. The toxic cloud of spores hangs low, so you must be able to avoid the worst of it. May be able to avoid the worst. Good! Go for it! Attack! Four cure challenges. We need a fence and defense. Ooh. So that's health. And will is the offense. First, uh, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting one. We've got some damage there. In fact, everyone can do some damage. Counter tactics, get closer. It's gonna be rough, I think. We'll see how it goes. Player's turn. Good, good, good. Right, person with the least health, go first. Then I would like someone with a lot of health to go next. There we go. I want to see what level these are before I waste these moves for. No. No, I don't think we're going to be playing that then. Okay. Dapper McChest, I need you to be played. Hopefully they play this one. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, well, at this point, we're just going to get closer with the rest of our units. We may be able to do okay, but our defense is fairly low. Because it's not a challenge that we would normally go through. We should be able to get rid of the first one. Nice work. And now it's going to get rough. Okay, not too bad. And it did choose the right one to attack. Okay. That was a weird sound effect. Didn't like it too much. You've won the challenge. You avoid the worst of the poisonous spores and you make it into the smaller room, clearly used as a stockroom by the deceased bandit. You find their stocks poor, but there are some of the things you can still salvage. In the corner, you see a cage with a strange menagerie of snakes, bats and rats all thrown in together. There is a pleasant smell of freshly cut wheat and dried mushrooms in the air, and the animals have a peculiar, nice feeling about them. You have acquired eight scaled leather, a bow, Eight sandstone and Dabba McJester has got health. Well, things are really what they seem. Perhaps these are some good creatures. Let them out. Vermin is vermin. Who cares what they smell like? No, 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 no. Things are really what they seem. Perhaps these are some good creatures. Perhaps? I don't know. I mean, Dabba McJester is actually healthier than normal. You carefully open the cage and step back as the creatures fall out and swarm the chamber. Just stay back and let them get out of here, but stay on guard. One option is unavailable. The creatures seem very confused and angry. One of them bumps into you and in fear jumps away, hitting a sharp stone upon landing and squealing in pain. This sets off a sudden frenzy from the whole bunch. But before the situation escalates, one of them squeaks l really loudly. Stop! Oh, they're actually talking. Okay. I wasn't sure if I'd read that wrong. as uh, Squeaks instead of squeaks. But it, well, it squeaks. Stop! These people helped us. Just calm down, my fellows. And you, people, thank you. We real... Uh, we released our last spore on those bandits, but if you didn't rescue us, we would have withered away. You will receive our thanks one day. The creatures all bow to you, and then follow their leader out of the tunnels. Shelab has got the blessing of will, and so is McChester. Well, that is awesome. Now, a few people have mentioned in the comments that they get a really strong um, King of Dragon Pass vibe from this game, and I really do. Anything which is, is this steeped in folklore... Uh, or, you know, whether it's, whether it's in this case, in sort of actually uh, real-world folklore, or something completely original, it just, I don't know, it really speaks to me. I really enjoy games like this. Gather the loot and leave. 3 XP for that. Fantastic. We're very close to some uh, research now. We'll just settle down here, I think. Yeah, we'll just hang out there for now. Okay. An unexpected visitor, Ooh. Theodore, arrives at your village. What? Your food stocks have grown. Your people are learning how to live in the awakened fear once more. But the darkness is not gone. Always looming in the shadows, lurking behind corners. It is time to try and find clues as to what happened and how to repair it. Um. Okay, so how do we do it? Ah, that's the spirit. I knew we could count on you. I must warn you, others have tried and failed before you, so the road will not be easy. Do you know anything more about what happened to the cosmic tree, or why the darkness came? I know some, but I do not hold the answers you need to seek. I know that once fear was a land ruled by high magic. A land where demons were kept in check by the peoples, and by the cosmic balance upheld by the gods. The pillars of Thea stood sturdy and held our world together. Now the barriers between the lands of the living and those of the dead are torn asunder. And <gasps> thus, darkness holds a tight grip on us. Without your raid, whatever made the sun return may not hold for long, and the Age of Darkness may descend upon us once again. Speaking as someone who has a very, very rocky relationship with the sun at the best of times... I can't say I'd be entirely disappointed. All right, fine. So how do we find out what there to do? There have been those who sought to undo this curse, those who were charged with the guardianship of Thea's pillars and who have failed us. <gasps> some were the ancient peoples you call elves. Some were avatars of your gods. And some, just people who proved worthy. And yet, they all failed thus far. Here, on this map, I marked a spot where one such guardian may hold answers for you. Without giving you a chance to say anything more, 
Theodore disappears, leaving you with a map. Okay, we'll take the map. Very well. We've also got to choose research. And we've got a level up. Hooray! Metasapia, much stronger. Fiery and Alpamogenes are stronger as well. Grave Lord, healthier, and she up stronger. Wow, a lot of strength in that one. Calissa is better with folklore. Blanktor is better with speech. Zimoth, better with herbalism. Plump Helmet Punk is, does just flat out more damage now. Dion's much better with herbalism. And these stars a bit more healthy. Wonderful. Okay, now we can start looking at some of these things. Um, I'm fairly certain I don't really want to look at any of that right now. We could perhaps pick up some new things, maybe. A herbalist hut. Sick and wounded can receive help. A smith. A watchtower. A well. I don't know. I don't know on that one. Uh, let's have a look around. There are all sorts of materials. I wouldn't mind finding out cane. Woody stalks gather from tall grasses. More durable than straw, but less flexible. Or wicker. No, no, we'll have a look at wicker. Plant fiber is great material for crafting light and sturdy items. Plus five. Research and wicker will add five units of this resource to your settlement's inventory. At least one place where it can be gathered will always be revealed after researching it. Yes! Do so. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Useful for us. There's some down there as well. Okay, well, there's quite a lot of things nearby. You've got some nastiness right there, though. Cosmic tree. Ooh, the cosmic tree is right there. Oh, okay. Right, well, I think in the next episode, we're going to be heading straight to the cosmic tree with our party and then heading back down to Dabton to pick things up and also pick up our other hunter to bring the number in our fellowship back up to six. But that is going to be the end of this episode of Thea. I hope you're enjoying the series and hope you'll be joining me for the next video. But until then, and as always, do take care.